Let's Learn Good Girl. It's choreographed by Karen Tripp. It is a 32 count, four wall, ultra beginner level line dance with no tags and no restarts. I'm gonna turn around and break down the dance section by section using steps and counts. We'll then practice the front wall all the way through with steps and counts. Talk about the ending, and then we're gonna go through and do four walls of the dance so that you know how it flows, so you can hopefully dance this on a dance floor near you. So let's turn around and learn, good girl. Section one, your weight's gonna start on your left foot. We're going to do a grapevine to the right with a stomp up. So we're gonna step our right foot to the right side. You're gonna cross your left behind your right. Step your right foot to the right side, and then you're gonna stomp your left foot next to your right, but don't take weight onto your left foot. We're now gonna walk forward, left, right, left, and do a low kick forward with our right foot. So let's try that with some counts, weights on your left. You're doing your grapevine with a stomp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Section two, we're gonna walk back with a touch, stepping back right, left, right, and you're gonna touch your left toe slightly behind your right. You're now going to do a grapevine to the left with a stomp up. So we're gonna step our left foot to the left side, cross our right behind our left, step our left foot to the left side, and then you're going to stomp your right next to your left, but don't take weight. Your weight's gonna stay on your left foot. So let's try that with some counts. We would have just kicked, you're doing your walk back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Section three, we're gonna point our right toe to the right side, touch our right next to our left, point your right toe to the right side, and then step your right next to your left. We're now gonna repeat that to the left, so we're gonna point our left toe to the left side, touch our left next to our right, point your left toe to the left side, and then step your left next to your right, taking weight onto your left foot. So let's try that with some counts, doing your point touch point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Section four in our final section of the dance. We're gonna take our right heel, we're gonna place it forward. We're now gonna hook our right heel up to our left shin, making a figure four with your right knee. You're now going to place your right heel forward and then you're going to flick your right foot back. We're now going to do two one-eighth paddle turns. So we're gonna step forward with our right foot. You're gonna make an eighth of a turn over your left shoulder as you put your weight onto your right foot and then recover onto your left. You're now facing the 1030 diagonal or that left forward diagonal. We're gonna repeat that again. We're gonna step with our right foot Make that eighth of a turn, putting our weight onto our right foot, and then recover back onto your left to face nine o'clock, ready to start the dance over again. What I like to do is kind of make those a little bit of a hip roll. So I like to roll my hips as I do these two turns. That's totally up to you. It's just a styling thing. Let's try that with some counts. Weight is on your left. You're going to do your heel hook, heel flick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is the end of the dance. So now let's face the front. We're going to do it one time through with steps, one time through with counts. Weights on your left. You're doing your grapevine with your stomp up. Side behind, side stomp, walk left, right, left, kick, walk back, right, left, right, touch, grapevine with a stomp. Now your points, point, touch, point, step, point, touch, point, step, heel, hook, heel, flick, a pivot, a pivot to face the nine o'clock wall. So let's try that with some counts, weights on your left, grapevine with a stomp. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And that is the whole dance. So now, your final wall will be a 12 o'clock facing wall. You're going to dance the first 19 counts of the dance. So that is your grapevine, your walk forward, your walk back, your grapevine, and your right points. So let's dance up to that part, doing your grapevine with a stomp, side behind side stomp, walk with a kick, back with a touch, grapevine with a stomp, point, touch, point. Right here, you're going to hold your point to the side Near me, we like to add a little bit extra. So at the end of the song, she's saying goodbye shoes. So we like to just kind of point to our shoe that is pointed out to the right side. And that's how we kind of end the dance. We do a nice big point towards our shoe. But as long as you're ending with your right toe pointed out to the right side, facing 12 o'clock, that is how you're going to end the dance. 
So now let's go around. We're going to do four walls of the dance so that you know how it flows. On the front and back walls, I'm going to do steps. Side walls, I'm going to do counts. Weight is on your left foot. You're doing your grapevine with a stomp. So we're going side behind, side stomp, walk with a kick, back with a touch, grapevine with a stomp. Now your points. Out, in, out, step, out, in, out, step, heel, hook, heel, flick, eight paddle, eight paddle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Grapevine with a stomp. Walk with a kick. Back with a touch. Grapevine with a stomp. Now your points. Out, in, out, step. Out, in, out, step. Heel, hook, heel, flick. Eighth turn, eighth turn. Grapevine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 And that is the whole dance. You'll dance all the way through until the last wall, and you're going to hear it coming because the majority of the music is going to drop out on your last wall, and you'll hear that music change coming. It starts on the side wall, and it will keep going all the way through to that front wall, and you'll dance that 19 counts, and then you'll hear it coming to do your point to the side. So now that you've learned it with the tutorial, you're going to use the timestamp in the video description below to skip to the rear demo so that you can practice as much as you would like, so that you can hopefully go out and dance this on a dance floor near you. I hope this helped you learn. Good girl. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys.